Wanted to show you guys my camping setup here. I'm just off a Forest Service Road. This one goes up into the Alpine, so I'm gonna go and check it out tomorrow. It's nice right next to a creek and it's a pretty level spot, so pretty easy to get set up. A couple things that I changed here or added, I guess, is I put this carpet in and it's good for grabbing the dirt and whatnot if you're going in and out all the time and I got a second one just for outside the camper. This is actually a really nice drawer. Put my clothes in here so easy to access without getting into the camper. I got a couple Tupperwares if you're gonna wash some dishes outside. Depending on who I'm camping with but when I'm just boondocking by myself it's pretty straightforward. I don't set up a whole lot. I leave the cooler inside here. Fits nice in between these two spots. I think I might get a little strap to go and hold it in. Sometimes if it's really bouncing a lot, it'll slide out of there. Uh, just cooking some food. I put this knife holder on. It's just Velcroed on, but it's these knives never move, so that's that's nice and keeps things a little bit more organized. These cupboards can get a little chaotic at times, but I bought these blue uh, Rubbermaid containers and they work pretty well for organizing stuff. I just have them sorted in different, different bins. So this is like a vanity kit. And then I have a pantry and a uh, liquor cabinet in here too. So this one's more food, liquor cabinets. Hasn't, haven't pulled it out yet, but that one there, and they all fit in that cabinet pretty nice, so if you're going down bumpy roads, it works pretty good. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with uh, the unit. It's uh, extremely durable, which is good for me. I'm a little bit hard on things sometimes. So I uh, haven't really done any cold weather camping yet, but I'm looking forward to testing out the the soft wall and seeing how good it performs in uh, negative temperatures but I'll just give you guys a quick view of the mountains there shouldn't have any problem getting to sleep right next to the creek like that it's always nice having that white noise so thought I'd give you guys a close-up of this bike stand that I built so this is center with the pegs and I strap the bike down to that. I have a mount for the chainsaw, so it sits on there with a strap, and then that holds my jerry can. I just use angle for, for this part here, and then the square tubing's pretty pretty heavy gauge, so it doesn't bend. It, it twists a little bit, and it used to rock when I first built it, and I had a strap kind of cinching it so it didn't rock back and forth. And then I built this cam cam kind of mechanism and basically there's just a stud in there and I welded a nut and yeah just tighten the nut up and it just cinches it in there tight. And that way when you're going down rough roads it's, the bike's not going back and forth and reaming out the hitch receiver. So, so far it's worked pretty good. I did have the bike bounce off one time because it wasn't strapped down tight enough and then uh, kind of just was rubbing up against the back here which just kind of silicone it I guess and put a sticker on there and maybe just tighten the bike down a little bit tighter when I'm going off road with it 